Man, that rain. Never ending. Can't really see it, but I'm sure you can hear it. Uh, good morning. That is us. We're here. We have landed. It's quarter to ten Friday morning, so it's quarter to eight back home. And yeah, we'll give you a quick tour of the apartment. So, follow me. This is our dining area and kind of living area. So we've got chairs and got Robert there. Contacts and home, making sure the world's okay. Uh, got the kitchen through here. It's a pretty good setup. Fridge, my favourite place. Yes, yeah, all right. The bathroom in here. So you've got kind of the shower and the toilet there. So that's pretty, pretty good. Our bedroom. This one's Robert's, and this one's mine. Mine's obviously a lot tidier than Robert's at the moment. And yeah, so it's a, a pretty small one. That's James and Wendy's. So leave that to them. But yeah, this is our this is our place. Yeah, we got here about what time did we get here? One o'clock was it? Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, about one o'clock yesterday. So we had a bit of a bit of a travel from the airport. It's about what, half an hour, forty-five minutes. Yeah. And yeah, it was good. So we've we've landed. We're pretty pretty tired. So we're having a bit of a, a chill day this morning, anyways. Might get the ministry this afternoon. We'll wait and see what happens. But with this weather, goodness me, who knows? Now it's a lot greener this time of year than than when Robert came last time in September, and it is purely because of all this rain that we've had. So. Yes, stop complaining about the weather back home because this, this is weather. Right, um, we'll see you guys soon. Um, I won't upload stuff until the evening just because that's when we get free Wi-Fi for, for some reason. So, right, have a good one. I'll speak to you guys soon. I'm pretty sure we came here to get away from the bad weather. No, no, it's going to work out like that. Right, so we're walking along the middle of the road and we just see a crab, like right here. What? Right, that is us. We're just back from a walk. We've been out for about half an hour mm -hmm. and, and it's been absolutely torrential. We left here. And, and it had just stopped raining, so we thought, right, let's make the most of it. We had got our waterproof jackets mm. on just to be doubly safe, and well, thank goodness we, we took them, yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah, to rent, and you do realise how quickly the place floods. You see why there's so much flooding south of Malawi, because everything just, mm. within minutes of us being out, the roads were flooded, the drains were flooded, and, and it was crazy, it's people here just are so used to it, they just go, like nobody thinks twice. No. Um, even the little kids we spoke to on the way along, yeah. were loving it, there was like a little waterfall at one bit and they were just dancing about in it, and it's crazy, yeah. absolutely crazy. No, so it's, been, it's been pretty good so far, except for, mm. the, except for the rain, but we're going to have to get used to that one. Yeah, hopefully it will ease a little yeah. bit from what it was today, it we're thinking have to buy a couple of bollies. Yeah, possibly, should be, yeah. Should be cheap enough. Yeah, we're be possibly going to be doing ministry this afternoon. With James and Wendy, we'll wait and we'll wait and see what happens. Mm. But apart from that, it's pretty much just <laughs> trying to stay dry where you can. We'll, we'll keep you up to date with everything that happens. Uh, hope everything's good back home, and we'll see you soon, guys. Okay. See you later. Oh yeah, so it's, uh, it's day three. It's Saturday here in Malawi. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon, mm -hmm. and we've just come back from ministry. We were with uh, the local group this morning. We did about three hours of uh, first call, and I did some some Bible studies as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, they did the same. Nice. Basically, yeah. yeah, it's been pretty good. It's been absolutely amazing because I think I think we did about five houses in the first call and we spent about ten minutes at each. It was mm. absolutely, absolutely insane. Nobody was saying, oh, I'm not interested or I'm busy, but there were, everybody was like, yeah, I really want to learn. And I think it started about three Bible studies mm. or, or something ridiculous. Mm. Where we were preaching this morning was right by Blantyre Prison. And so we were a little bit sceptical at the start and then as we were doing a couple of the doors, uh, all of the prisoners walked out with um, mm. with kind of gardening tools. <laughs> yeah, they were doing like um, yeah, they just let them out and they come out with a guard, don't they? And they mm. do a couple of like farming jobs. Mm. But it was right next to this wee mini village that we were working. Um, but they were really friendly, yeah. weren't they? Like yeah, they, they were really good. The the prisoners that were that were outside were ones that were about to be released. Mm. Their sentence was nearly up, so they kind of mm. give them work outside because they know they're not going to run mm. but no they were really good they were all asking for, for literature we were just walking down the down the 
down the path and they were asking for, for magazines, any anything that they had, so we placed mm. like 10 or 15 sets yeah. with them and, and we spoke to the guards as well, so it was... It was fantastic. After mm. that, we, we kind of we separated. I went with a mm. with a local brother to a, a study with a twelve year old boy actually, and and we were doing just the first chapter in the in the teach book, and it was just fantastic. He, he was really grasping all of the all of the main points, and I've I've never I've never seen that. Some of my studies back home don't even have a good a grasp of that. So it was it was really amazing for me in the morning. Anyways, mm. it was a really productive morning. We had a really good afternoon yesterday mm. though, because we went out in the ministry to do one of James's study. <laughs> To be honest, it was so strange because we ended up with a couple of really good calls at the end of it, but only because people had come up and spoken to us. Yeah. So when James was having the study in the marketplace, which is quite a mental place, I oh, think, at the best of times. Inside. It's really busy, there's a lot going on, it's quite a place. We were kind of sitting quietly with James doing the study and a guy came up to us. Word must have spread that we were in the market yeah. because he kind of looked us out and um, he came up, took a seat, we started talking away to him, mm -hmm. um, left him a set of mags, and we're going to go back to him mm -hmm. probably during the week again at some point. Um, and then, when we went to change the money <laughs> at the exchange place, we were sitting getting ready to go to get my money transferred, and the two security lads, I don't know yeah. if they called us over to find out more as well. Yeah, initially they were, um, they were like... And I thought they were telling us to like be quiet because we were making too much noise. Mm -hmm. But it, I was like, is this a library or no? They were they were just they were wondering who we were. Mm -hmm. I think they they must recognise James or, or something because he might go in there quite a bit. But they recognised that we were witnesses. So we got the good news brochure out with them, and and they both had like, really interesting mm -hmm. questions. They were wanting to know like what was the true religion and and how could they find it because there's so many different churches and and forms of Christendom over here. So. The ministry has is, is been a brand new experience because mm. we're saying neither of us mm. have ever had it where, except yeah. for on Metro, but where, mm. where people just come up to you and, and really just ask for a Bible study. Yeah, and it's strange how quickly people recognise the witnesses here. Like uh, even today and then yesterday, as we were walking, uh, one guy today was shouting, Oh, Jehovah's Witnesses, one guy mm. yesterday in the fields, the two lads shouted, <laughs> Oh, man of God. Yeah. Um, and they came down off the fields to speak to us. So. It is a bit surreal, yeah. like, um, yeah, you're definitely kind of almost viewed as yeah, something a wee bit special if you're yeah. a preacher here, um, which is amazing. Yeah, it's definitely been an impressive first couple of days anyway. Considering we've only done a couple of hours yeah. of ministry, really, uh, we've already got a number of return visits <laughs> to go back on, um, so it's great. Yeah, very, very good. don't have enough literature, that's the only problem. Everybody yeah, keeps on asking yeah. for stuff and we're like, we don't have anything. Yeah, no, two days in. No, it's, it's been same. fantastic so far. We're off, um, there's a, I think there's a bit, been a bit of a party organised for us. There's mm, some, the there are some other need graters over that are, um, that they're going home. So they're kind of wanting to say hi and goodbye there. So it's a few, mm. a few of the brothers from the, the congregation will go there, have a, mm. have, some, have some fun and then, yeah. and then get back. The, the meeting tomorrow is at, Eight o'clock in the morning, so I think mm. we need to be up for about half Very six. Very early start in the morning. So, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. and it's just starting. Yeah, and that's, and that's the rain on. So, right, we'll, we'll call it here. Okay. We'll see you guys soon. Hi guys, it's Tuesday here in Malawi, it's about 6 o'clock in the 
in the evening and here's just a wee update of what we've been doing. Well, what Robert's been doing, I've, I've not been doing too much. Um, yesterday morning, I woke up about 7 o'clock and we were supposed to have a lie-in, so for me to wake up at 7 o'clock was a bit unusual. And, uh, and I was sick, basically, so I was sick all, all yesterday and I've had nothing to eat yesterday. Today I've been on the, the brat diet, it's called, which is uh, banana, rice, uh, applesauce and toast. So I've not been eating too much, so I've I've not been doing much, just trying to get myself well again. But Robert's been up to a bit, what have you been mm. doing? So Monday we went to the market, did a bit of shopping, mm. bits and pieces, There's nothing too strange. But today well, I went out with the sign language congregation here mm -hmm. and we went out to a village and we basically spent the whole bulk of the, the day searching for <laughs> Uh, deaf and uh, ones who had Malawi sign language, but it was quite strenuous as to say, and it was very very hot this morning, very very hot, and they walk for miles, miles and miles. Um, in fact, we spent three hours just trying to locate one person, because each time we got to the next house, they said, "Oh, it's not here, it's there." And we'd walk for another half an hour, and then they would say, "Oh, it's not here, it's there." So eventually. After about three hours of walking in the sun, we finally got someone, and uh, that was a great experience. They were able to leave the, the good news, use the good news brochure DVD, um, and then we did a few calls in the afternoon. Cool. What about the lollipop? The lollipop. <laughs> well, it is Africa. Um, we, one of the brothers, Curtis, who's um, doing the same language, very kindly bought us all in the group a lollipop. I opened the wrapper, shoved it in my mouth. I noticed that there was a a bit of the lollipop was like broken in. I pulled it out, and there was ants all over the inside of the lollipop. So we think they must have got up the stalk and have eaten the inside of the lollipop and eaten out. And uh, <laughs> needless to say, that got thrown in the bin. Although, funnily enough, one of the brothers did say to me. You could just eat it if you want. Um, I wasn't up for that. Good source of protein. Yeah. And then, about half one, five of us went to a study, because they go to studies in mm. big numbers here for oh, some reason. Okay. So five of us went to the study, and it got dark, almost as dark as this. Like, it's getting dark for night. And the brothers we were with, their phones started going. And it was like, get back to the car right now. Um, because there was a major, major storm sweeping in yeah. and um, it was so windy that stuff was getting blown down, coming down next to the brothers, hitting them um, and then the heavens just opened and we had another thunderstorm which yeah. we had last night so we had two pretty much on yeah. the trot and it was like get home, get home now it's quite dramatic, yeah. all the Malawians in the village were like running to get back in the house and, yeah. It's chaos. The thunderstorms here are, are insane. I'll try and capture them when we get a, when we get another one. But I, I had taken Benadryl last night before I'd gone to sleep, and so I was out cold. But I, I woke up to the sound of one of the one of the thunderstorm claps. It was mm. oh, it was deafening almost. So loud. last night we had this huge thunderstorm, and the light went on for about an hour, and the yeah. lightning's just continuous, and the thunder overhead. But it was so intense, the lightning that James and Wendy have a solar panel powered set of lights in oh. the house. The lights actually came on halfway through, I don't know if you well, saw it. No, uh, no, you know, I was out. Fairy lights. They came, that came on halfway that through. Scary. It was so <laughs> continuous, the flashing, uh, that these lights just, just suddenly sprung to life. Um, quite surreal. And uh, the rain last night was wild as well. Absolutely torrential. In fact, when we got to near the Kingdom Hall today, Curtis, um, they decided not to drive any further because the road was so bad, mm. so badly rutted. Um, and that's what's happening. Every time they get a storm like that, just more and more of the roads get chewed up. Yeah. And, um, so much so that they are getting more impassable as time yeah. is on. You get, so. you get potholes that are at least a foot deep and mm. you just get these complete like, ruts and ravines in the roads and they almost become impassable. So that's, that's been a bit of a challenge. Yeah. Got to say, the reason why there's not too many photos at this stage from from outside and like the markets and in town 
is that in, in Africa they don't like, well especially in Malawi, they don't like you taking photos of them. Something to do with they think that you're trying to take their, their identity or something like that. They're a bit unsure. So at the moment we're, we're just mm. we're being very cautious. Trying to be discreet when we take photos. Yeah. We think I took some today in the village, mm. but I had to take it so my camera was just out of my pocket. Yeah. And I kind of hid it with my fingers, but mm. it means the videos aren't particularly good. But no, it gives you, still give you an idea yeah. of what it's like. Yeah. So tomorrow I think is is Metro, metro Day. What so time are you, what time James, are they getting up? <laughs> James and Wendy want to start at six o'clock. So we're getting up at five. We're going to start at 6, just in case the rains come and we have to pack up. But the idea is they do an entire day of Metropolitan. So now like back home, we don't stop, we don't change over. Just as an entire, from 6 in the morning, to whenever it rains, basically, yeah. at night. So when they have to um, stop. But, uh, they said last time they came back with only a couple of books. Yeah. And I saw how many we took today. We've got about three, four packets of books and hundreds of magazines, so who knows what yeah. will happen tomorrow. Um, it'll be exciting. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting sure. one. Yeah. Mm. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I think I've been told just to kind of rest up because I've not really got any food inside me. So I'll just mm. focus on that. You hopefully. may be able to come and join us. Yeah, maybe maybe for a bit in the afternoon. We'll play it by ear. Um, yeah, but the rest of the week is ministry tomorrow, ministry in the meeting on Thursday. Yeah. And ministry the rest of the week. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it should and be And then zone visit. Of course, of on course. Sunday afternoon. Yes. Um, Mark Newmere. Yeah, so He's coming. I'm sure we've all seen him from the, the broadcast so on JW.org. But yeah, we've got a got a visit from the from Mark Newmere. Now that's happening up in the long way, but we're going to the assembly hall just kind of 20 minutes from here in Blantyre. And we're going to watch it via a video link. So that should be, mm. that should be something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they said it gets extremely busy at the assembly hall. Yeah. But last time they said there was about 10,000 there. Oh. And the assembly hall is just an open courtyard that's got benches with a few steel roofs. Um, so they said last time there was 10,000. Uh, people were sitting in the drains, they were sitting all And then, of course, the rains came <laughs> last time. So they're hoping the weather will be better and maybe not quite so many. Mm. So everyone will get sick. So yeah. hopefully we'll take loads of photos. Yeah, um, we'll brothers and see. sisters are okay with us taking photos, we trust us. Mm. But yeah, so we've got Good. we've got loads to look forward to still. I know it's all just interviews at this point, but hopefully we'll get a bit more insight in as, it, as it goes on. But we'll see you guys soon, yeah? See you later. Right, uh, good evening. It is Thursday. It's about 10 to 5 here in Malawi. I'm going down some steps. I'm going to be careful. Say hi, Robert. Hello. So, right, uh, what have we been up to? Um, yesterday I had another day off, just trying to get fully well again, so I was bored out of my mind. But Robert did Metro, didn't you? Yes. What was, what was it like? I'm not with him. Uh, it was good. <laughs> it was very good. It was amazing. Yeah. The uh, Metro was quite amazing. They'd never done it before here where they hold the magazines out. So they've only ever had it where people come up to the car. Mm -hmm. So we thought maybe a good idea to try it. So just me, James and Wendy. We for, yep. for yep. we did about 10, 11 hours mm -hmm. and we played 1,200 something magazines that, that's, in the space of the day. It's absolutely and crazy. I think about 50 books that are written down somewhere. 47 books. <laughs> The 12 return visits during the course of the day, people who came back. Yeah. And I think about 20. Yeah. Please follow up uh, Bible studies. So, how long, how long did you do it for? About 11 hours. So, we started at quarter to six in the morning. Three of them doing it for 11 hours. And so we finished at half four. Absolutely insane. So, yeah. Right, so we are just about to head to the, the meeting, and this is our mode of transport. Ta da! This is the tuk tuk that we've been talking about. So, You've got, you've got the front pattern. You've got the front bit here. Turn it on. You've got the front. You only know, just unlock it, yeah. And the bit in the back where we all sit. Right, we're in. So this can fit something like. I think it can fit about six of us. Has it fit six of us before? Yeah, so that's pretty crazy. It's a 200 cc motorbike and it can carry what is effectively seven people so it's absolutely crazy. Um, yeah so today we kind of had the morning off because the the weather was just torrential really bad this morning 
Um, but about was it eleven o'clock? We went out half ten. Mm, half ten yeah. We did some return visits with uh, the other brothers and sisters here. Um, we'll introduce you to them in a bit. Tanya and it was Ebony that came out as well. So there was mm. four of us. We did did a few return visits and a few uh, Bible studies. There was four of us went in on one Bible study with a girl who must have been what thirteen or fourteen mm. years old, and she was yeah. deaf. So it was. It was signed by Tanya, so we were kind of sitting there in the corner, almost twiddling our thumbs for half an hour because we didn't understand what, any bit of what was going on. Mm. But yeah, it's been it's been really good. We uh, when we were walking home, we just we were chatting to people and and we'd be talking for 15, 20 minutes with with just people after leaving a after leaving a chat with them. We talked to talked to one guy, got some kind of souvenirs off them, and he, he previously studied with witnesses and he's wanting to, to pick up his study again so I think we're gonna try and meet up with him but that was that was just from walking home and and just just saying hello so it's it's a, it's a complete different type of ministry here Com mm. completely different you can't can't compare it to anything back home so yeah we're going to the the meeting now try and get a wee bit of footage there if we can we'll be trying to be discreet but mm. should be all right anyway so we'll see you soon guys see you later.